Hello everyone, today I will explain how to collect, store and visualize data comes from uh, Twitter in real time. So to release this work, I followed this uh, architecture. I start with collect data from uh, Twitter and send them to Kafka topic using Apache NiFi. Uh, after I store this data uh, to uh, Elasticsearch also using Apache NiFi and finally I visualize it the, this data using Kiban. So I divided this work into three parts. The first one is Kafka producer from Twitter to, uh, up, uh, to uh, Kafka. The second one is a Kafka consumer from Kafka to Elasticsearch and the third one is data visualization from Elasticsearch to Kiban. But before moving to explain all the steps that I released in this project, let me give you an overview about each, each component I used in this project. So let's start with Kafka. Kafka is a, distribution, is a distributed published subscribe messaging system. It has a robust queue that can accept large amount of message data. With Kafka, applications can write and read data in uh, two topics. NiFi, which is our data flow tools, is a real-time data ingestion platform. We can transfer and manage data transfer between different sources and destination system. Elasticsearch is a highly, uh, a highly scalable open source full text search and analytics engine. It allows you to store, search, and analyze big volumes of data quickly and uh, in near, uh, real time. And Kibana is an open source analytics and uh, visualization platform designed to work with Elasticsearch. You use Kibana to view, uh, search, and interact with data storage in Elasticsearch indices. So, as I said, the first part is to collect data from uh, from Twitter and send them to uh, Kafka using Apache NiFi. And to make it simple and easier, I uh, create two process group, one for Kafka producer and one for Kafka uh, consumer in uh, Apache NiFi. So for the Kafka producer, I use it uh, three processes. Get Twitter to collect data from Twitter, uh, jet transform JSON to get some of data collected from Twitter because I, uh, I choose to work only with text, date, username and its location, the language and the hashtags of uh, the tweet. All the other data I don't need to. And uh, publish, Kafka, uh, publish Kafka to send the data to uh, a Kafka topic. I choose to collect data uh, the data from Twitter uh, refers to Elon Musk. For this reason, I specify uh, the terms to filter on uh, Elon Musk, SpaceX, uh, Tesla. All these uh, terms is related to Elon Musk. As I said, I don't need all the data that comes from uh, the processor get Twitter. For, for this reason, I created a simple script in the processor jolt uh, transform uh, JSON to uh, get just the text, the language, the, the timestamp, which is the date, the username and its location, and uh, the hashtag. And for the processor publish Kafka, I configured the uh, public. Uh, the Kafka broker to be referred to my uh, container Kafka with the IP address of Kafka container and the name of the, the topic name to be tweets which is uh, the topic that I uh, already created that's it for the first uh, the first uh, part in this project which is the, the Kafka producer uh, send the, the data from uh, Twitter to Kafka. Let's now move to the next step, which is uh, Kafka consumer. Consume the data from Kafka topic and uh, store them in Elasticsearch. For this reason, I created two processes. Uh, the first one is the Kafka uh, consume Kafka to get the data from Kafka to consume the data from Kafka and the second one is put Elasticsearch HTTP to send the data 
to Elasticsearch. So I configure Kafka, consume Kafka to consume data from uh, the, the topic tweets and the, and I configured put Elasticsearch HTTP to send the data comes from uh, uh, Kafka topic to an, uh, an index named also tweets that I'll, I already created. So let's uh, start all the, this processor and as we see the data uh, comes from Kafka produce a producer to Kafka consumer. In other words, the data uh, comes from uh, Twitter, send it to Kafka producer and send it to a Kafka topic and after that store it in uh, Elasticsearch. So now let's discover some of this data presented in Elasticsearch. So as we, feel, as we see, th this is the data. Let's move to the last step which is visualize this data presented in uh, Elasticsearch using Kibble. For the visualiza visualization part, I, uh, I choose 5 KPI to, uh, to work with, to visualize. Uh, I choose total number of tweets, top 7 countries tweets on Elon Musk, the top uh, five, uh, 15 hashtags related to Elon Musk, top 10 uh, user tweet on Elon Musk and top uh, 7 uh, language uh, uh, for the tweets. So this is the final dashboard that uh, contains all the, uh, the visualization created. So we have the total number of tweets, the top 7 countries tweet on Elon Musk, the top uh, 15 hashtags related to Elon Musk, Top 10 user, uh, user tweets on Elon Musk and top 7 languages. As we see, this is a real time dashboard. The data is uh, the graphics uh, in this dashboard is uh, changed uh, continuously uh, based on the data collected in Elasticsearch. So let's summarize all these steps. I begin, I start with the collect the, some data related to Elon Musk from Twitter send, and send them to, to the Kafka topic. Then I uh, store this, uh, I consume this, the data presented in a Kafka, Kafka topic and I store them in Elasticsearch. And finally, I visualize this data stored in Elasticsearch in uh, in uh, Kibana to get a real-time dashboard that include uh, some uh, some uh, KPI. So I hope that all uh, uh, all these steps is uh, clear for you. I hope also that my project is interesting for you and thanks for your attention.